Hello and welcome to another Swift tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue talking about operators in Swift and uh, we're going to actually speak about compound assignment operators and compound, compound assignment operators give us the ability to um, perform an equation and reassign the value back to a variable. It uh, is actually like a shorthand way of performing an equation and assigning it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the way we know how to do it and what we have learned so far. So uh, we create a variable. We're just going to assign this one an integer. So it will be uh, var a equals, uh, let's see, 15. Okay. Um, now say we want to perform an equation and we want to add 1 to uh, 15 to make 16. So we do a is equal to a plus 1. All right, that's how we would get 16 in this case and reassign it back to A. All right, and what's going on here is first we our initialize our variable, we name our variable A, and we assign it a value of 15. All right, down here we're saying A plus 1, so A is 15 plus 1 is 16 and then reassign it back to A so now we want the label or the name A to represent the data or the integer 16 so that's the longhand way of doing it and with compound assignment operators we can make this a little bit shorter so in this case we got 16 now we're gonna go for 17 so we'll do A plus equals 1 All right. What we're doing here is the same thing we did up here, is we're saying, hey, A, which is now 16, plus 1 equals 16, and reassign it back to A. So we get the addition and then the reassignment. So first thing it's going to do is add 1 to make it uh, 17, right? Yeah, 17, and then we're going to reassign it back to A. All right, so that this right here is a com, uh, compound assignment operator. It's the addition compound assignment operator. We can also do it with subtraction. So we could do a minus equals one, and now we're going to get um, a subtraction and then a reassignment. So a, which is 17 minus one, is 16. Now reassign 16 back to a. And now we have 16. All right, over here. Um, so that's just like writing it out like this: a is equal to a minus one. Now, obviously, we're going to get 15 because it's going in order here, but it's the same thing: 16 minus one is 15. Reassigned to a. Now a is representing 15. All right. We can also do this with. Um, a multiply equals 2. All right, so 15 times 2. So we got our multiplication. 15 times 2 is 30. And then we reassign A to represent 30, which now A represents 30. All right, so that's just right, like writing A is equal to A times 2. Now we're going to get 60, all right, because we're building off each other here. So A, which was 30, times 2 is 60, and reassign it to A, all right? So long way, short way. We can do it with division. We can do A divided by equals, or reassignment to 2, all right? So now we're doing A, which was 60, divided by 2, is 30, reassign that to A, is now, A is now representing 30. All right, I'm not going to write out the long way. It's the same thing. We just division over here. All right, and we can also do remainder. A remainder equal to, um, let's see, let's do 7. All right. 7 goes into 30 four times, and we'll have two left over. So 4 times 7 is 28, which 28 of 30 leaves 2, so we get the remainder of 2. So what we're doing is uh, A, which is 30 at this moment, 
the remainder of 7, so Swift figures out how many times 7 goes into 30, which is 4, and then we get the remainder of 2, and it reassigns 2 back to A. To double check what A is, we can do print A. All right, even though in the playground it tells us over here, but if we do print A, now it's going to print back 2. All right, and this uh, backslash here is an escape character, and N is new line, if we haven't discussed that before. Uh, and you can also click on the eyeball here, and it will give it to you. This is raw code. This is not raw code. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, one other thing, I, I printed A here. Um, if we weren't working in the playground, we're obviously not going to see this stuff over here because compound assignment operators do not return a value to us. So, yeah, it performs the equation, but it's not returning a value to us. It's just storing the value in the reassignment. So we would have to either print or return the value. Okay, so just keep that in mind if you're not working in the playground. Um, so that's compound assignment operators. We can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and find the remainder of. If you have any questions about compound assignment operators, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website, swifttutorial.online. Don't forget to like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.